Hello, Beth in Texas here, or Be Thin Texas. And this is my weigh in Wednesday. I weighed in at 197, and that's an, it's a close thing because I have one of the scales that have the, the circle thing with the dial. And at 190, it's there's no number there, and then there's little hash marks, and then 200. And so I can see where 195 is, but somewhere between 195 and 200, and it's a little more toward the 195, so I'm going to say 197. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to invest in a better scale, that's all that's to it. Um, I did measure my arms, my waist, my hips, and my thigh, and I'm going to put that on Neen's uh, Losers Group on Ravelry. And if you want to go over there and join us, you're more than welcome to do it. Um, there'll be a link in the description for that. And I thought I'd leave a food tip. I'm um, talk about lettuce. Okay, since we're starting to eat better, we're going to eat some more salads, right? And as according to Weight Watchers and the Diabetic Food Exchange, lettuce is something we can eat as much of it as we want. So. The thing is, what you want to eat, you want to want to fill up with things that have good nutritional value. So the greener it is, the better it is for you. And so iceberg lettuce might last longer and and that kind of thing, but it's mostly water and doesn't have a whole lot of nutritional value. So if you switch over to romaine, romaine is a darker, uh, greener leaves on it. So you're like, well, romaine goes bad real fast. Well, you know how you can preserve romaine lettuce? Just like florists do for flowers. You put it in water and put it in the refrigerator. Okay, what I do is I'll take a plastic knife and cut the bottom off. And then I'll separate just a little bit and wash it. I have some a spray bottle of stuff called Fit Fruit and Vegetable Wash. And it's made of all, like, fruit and vegetable products. It doesn't have any chemicals or anything in it. So, and you can wash off your lettuce and then you can wash off any fruit and vegetable with it and it doesn't have anything bad in it for you. So anyway, what I want to do is take a plastic knife and cut it off so you don't have the oxidation so it don't turn brown and then rinse it and then you get a, a cup. I have storage containers that come on the little spin around thing and the tallest one is what I use but a fast food drink cup or something like that will work. I know if you're like me, you have those things laying around because you hate to throw them away. So you rinse them out and reuse them. Okay. Well, anyway, you just put a little bit of water in the bottom of the cup. You don't want to have it come up the lettuce too far because it'll start turning brown after a while. And you put your lettuce in there and put it on the door of your refrigerator. And That'll keep it long and about once a week or twice a week, change the water, cut off the bottom of the lettuce. And uh, that's how you keep romaine lettuce for a long time in your refrigerator. It stays real fresh. Um, and if you use the outer leaves first, those are the greener ones and the, the, the ones on the inside will hold water better. So you want to use the outer leaves first. And so that's my tip for romaine lettuce. Um, somebody's asked me about what do you, where do you find the diabetics food exchanges? Well, the source that I got was from a, 10 years ago. Our group at our church was doing a weight loss program called First Place for Women. And it's through the Baptist Church um, thing. I don't even know if they still have that program available anymore. But that's where I got my food exchange changes. But they have other resources. You can probably find it online. You just Google diabetic food exchanges and see if you can find something. My husband got me this um, the Calorie King Fat and Carbohydrate Counter, and I got the 2010 edition. It has the fast food chains and restaurants uh, included. So you want to get the most current one because fast food chains change their menus quite often. So and the price on the back says $8.99 so you can probably find it for a lot less on Amazon or somewhere like that. So I recommend that as a resource and um, you know you want to have your your diet suitable for, for you. you. Um, and that would be talk to your doc doctor about what how many calories you should eat a day 
and you go according to that. I still had my some blank sheets from the first place program that I used. So the first week or two weeks that I was doing the diet, I kept track of everything I ate and I marked down my food exchanges. Well, after you do that for a while, you don't have to keep a record of it because you get used to how much you're supposed to eat and what. So, um, and then once in a while, I'll get this out and I'll do it again for another week, especially if I plateau or something like that. Um, so yeah, those are my, my tips. Another uh, resource for good food choices. My doctor gave me this helpful hints for food choices sheet. And it was put out by AstraZeneca, A-S-T-R-A-Z-E-N-E-C-A. -E -E so I would look that up on the internet, see if they have it published there. Um, and it talks about, you know, if you want whatever calories you're going for, how many daily servings you have. That's what this little chart is on the side here is. So, um, so you ask your ask your doctor if they have one of the AstraZeneca charts on food choices, and or go look it up on the internet. I'm it, I'm not sure, but they probably have it on their website. So I hope this helps and encourages you to stick to it, exercise, eat right and you will lose the weight, you will get healthier. I'm focusing more on eating right because of my, my, the, my biggest concern right now is my glucose levels. Um, it gets high once in a while, so I really gotta watch my sugar. I shouldn't have sugar, I shouldn't have carbohydrates, and I, and I have been failing <laughs> miserably at that part. Uh, like last night for dinner, I had a, I made a salmon primavera, so, I had smoked salmon that I got at Big Lots for $10 for 12 ounces, which is a really good deal. And then I made a pot of bow tie pasta and I added it with some cream of mushroom soup, which all that stuff has a lot of salt and the pasta has the carbohydrates. So I had to watch how much of that I ate. But that was a really good, really good meal. Uh, so what I could do to make that healthier next time is I put my glasses back on. Sorry about the glare, but um, I want to see <laughs> see what I'm doing to make that that meal healthier. Uh, since I love doing that, instead of uh, there we go, instead of smoked salmon, I could get some some other fish that has less salt in it and cook it myself to put it in, or use a different meat. And I could use the whole wheat pasta instead of the regular semolina pasta. I could, I had used a can of mixed vegetables in there. Instead of using a can of mixed vegetables, I can cook some, steam some fresh mixed vegetables, put it in it. Mm -hmm. So there are ways I could have made that meal healthier. Um, and, the, and the can of cream of mushroom soup, I could have, um, sauteed my own mushrooms and used some some uh, one percent milk Bella go outside the bark sorry about that so there are you know just do better choices when you cook and when you're when you eat and that should really help a lot so happy weight loss and I'll see you next Wednesday